and let's dig into the artificial, I would say, intelligence neural world. So what we are seeing is artificial intelligence is a superset of, of everything you know concerning, uh, I would say, related to uh, machine, mimic, cognitive capability like humans. So each time we are trying to copy or to, to have a mimic of human uh, staff, so it's, it's in a big category of artificial intelligence. So, okay, it's covering everything. Everybody's talking about artificial intelligence. It gives you possibility to have some interaction with the environment, knowledge, perception, learning, and so on. These are the, the, the key words we are learning. And these concepts are coming from computer science. So you need uh, science, mathematics, statistics. Okay, these are the three stuff. But this is a superset. And inside the artificial intelligence, you have one of the subset is called machine learning. Machine learning then means that, okay, you will have a big, you will collect a lot of, of data set in this case, and then you will start to train based on this data set to train to, I will say, extract some information in order to, to learn and to have some, you know, prediction in this case. So this is machine learning. So the machine will, will learn, I mean, in this case, you will use a machine to learn and to train uh, your staff. So it could be mathematic, it could be statistic, it could be, and we'll, I will show you some, some example. And inside the machine learning, what can we do? We have some uh, pattern recognition, this has a keyword. We have some anomaly recognition, some prediction in the future. So it could be, you know, stock price in the future, advertisement and so on. Uh, anomaly recognition, you have um, some, some machine and then uh, someone is trying to change uh, the, you know, the machine. You can recognize it. So this is what, okay, bank are doing and, and, and other stuff. And also pattern recognition, trying to spoken word, facial identity and, and so on. So that's the key. You have three different kinds of, of learning stuff in the machine learning. So you have the supervised, the unsupervised, and reinforcement. These are three techniques they have. One of the techniques, and this is the one, is a supervised. So that means you will have data which are labeled. What does it mean? So if you want to recognize, I don't know, difference between the different animals, so we will put picture with cat, and you will label it as cat. Uh, you will put picture with dog or with other animal, and then you will label all this data. So it's big, big job to be done. So that means you have to pre-prepare this data. And then you will uh, start to, to have a learning process. So you will learn from it, from this data, and then you will try to, based on different algorithms, based on different techniques, I will explain this different technique after all. And, uh, and uh, the goal of this, after this learning, is you know, to recognize. So this is one of the methods. Second method, is, we say, reinforcement. So you are showing stuff and, and like, like uh, I would say, dressing a dog. So if it's uh, good, I mean, if the result is good, then you have given in uh, sugar or something which is good. And otherwise, you are not. So it's a kind of, um, what we say, it's a re rewarding system. So we are rewarding and you are learning. So your, your system is learning based on that. And the third one is unsupervised. So there is no control, there is no label. So you are trying to, on the fly, to have some, some category and then after all to decide what to do. The good thing is you can have a mix of this. So these are the big models, so this is triangle, but you, the learning is something in between. So you can use part of it and then mix. Okay, but this is a general stuff for machine learning. And within this machine learning, what we have is some of the approach. You have much more approach, but okay, these are the main approach, I mean, we found. So the first one is a decision tree learning. So decision tree, okay, we have the picture here, so it's quite clear. Based on the data set you got, then we are trying to extract some, you know, feature and then uh, try to, uh, I will say, uh, the machine is trying to, to transfer it in, inside, um, uh, yes, decision tree, if, then, else, and so on. Okay, this is one of the techniques. Second technique is clustering. So trying to put, you know, all the data uh, inside clustering and then trying to find the area where this cluster are to predict the next stuff. So this is a method based on statistics also and mathematical stuff. We have rules-based learning. So this is something different. We have inductive logic programming, Prolog. You can have a look on the web. So it's different kind of things, mixing statistic and, and mathematical uh, uh, phenomena. And the last one, and this is the one uh, we have interest today, is called deep learning and using neural network in this case. Deep learning neural network, so this kind of stuff. And this is where we are focused. But 
Deep learning is a, again a sub um, um, a, a subsystem from machine learning. Okay, at ST we are also using decision tree learning and clustering. So we also have algorithm on our sensors. So we have sensors, for instance, which are embedding some decision tree learning. So inside, so this is AI, of course, we are calling it AI. This is uh, uh, machine learning, but in this case, it's not neural network. No, we will dig it a little bit more inside this part. Deep learning neural network. Why? And this is why we are explaining this. Because what we have seen in neural network deep learning is existing since a long time. It was going up and down because of you know resources we had, because of the performances, the data set we are able to collect. Why? Because we have some advantages of the deep learning and disadvantages. What we are saying is not it's ideal for everything. So at the end, you will, what you will realize during your, if you have no experience on the AI from now, so you will have to try maybe all of this and then select you know, the best for you at the tea time, and then maybe we'll change based on the amount of data you will have, ba based on the accuracy you need and so on. So what we are not saying is, okay, this is the ultimative. No, no, this is one of them, and this is one which is quite complicated normally to port on the, on the microcontroller. For this one, you already have some, uh, we say, software which are existing on the web, which are converting, you know, this in C code, so this is existing, but for this one, there was from now nothing or not so much, and it's the reason why we are concentrating on this one. What are the advantages of this one, of the deep learning, is there? Advantages is, okay, high accuracy, and what we are seeing is, okay, you have the performances and you have the amount of data. And at the beginning, I would say, let's say, uh, that uh, the normal algorithm, decision tree, clustering, rules based learning and uh, other stuff are more efficient than uh, the deep learning because deep learning is quite complicated to put in place, it's uh, requesting uh, high computation and so on, so these are the disadvantage. But at the beginning, okay, you will see uh, advantages of other algorithm. And then there is a breaking event, so it depends on the application. Question is when it's appearing, okay? It depends on the amount of applications, it depends on the complexity of your application. But then you have a break event, and then the deep learning is continuing, you know, to, to bring you some performances where the standard learning algorithm is stopping somehow. Why stopping? Because with the decision tree, it's the amount of, you know, uh, memory space you have in this case, so somehow. Each time, for instance, you're uh, getting new data, you will change completely the structure of the three. So it could be you know, difficult to, to qualify in some case, you know, depend on what you have, and, and so on. So disadvantages is you, be, you need a large data set to start. So when I say large, it's really large. I mean, it's a big amount of data uh, to, to record. Um, disadvantages is a weak theoretical explanation. So it look, still looks like a black box in most of the case. It's running, I have a, a customer, we were working five years long on uh, algorithm, uh, trying to detect some, some, some characteristic, doing some kind of predictive maintenance to, uh, based on the audio. Spend five years, you develop algorithm based on mathematical uh, staff, and uh, at the end, they get something which were almost working, let's say. So it was uh, um, working, was recognizing what they want. And then some condition changed in the room, and then everything was gone. So all the, you know, the five years was not working anymore, so they had to rechange and all the stuff. And okay, it was a lot of job. And then they engaged two AI guys <laughs> um, uh, and to, to try to use a neural network in this case. And this guy um, had a success after two months, really first success. And uh, it was so successful that, uh, successfully that, okay, within the two months, they achieved to have at, at least at the same level at the, you know, the five years development before and, and more, because then there was not a uh, in big impact about the change in the environment. So they are really, but the big issue they had was to explain it because it was safety based in this case. So they had to explain it to the final customer and they were not able. So they had a good algorithm, which were working well, but there were, you know, problem to explain why it was working. So good in this case. Yeah, it could be the problem. So this is the disadvantages. We have to put it also in the balance. So it's what we're saying is not obvious that, okay, this will be, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the right algorithm for you in each time and each. It's the reason why most of the people and the partner are talking about machine learning in this case, because they are proposing, you know, different algorithm, which is okay in this case, yeah. Uh, also comparison, 
Okay, to be honest, these are the problems, I mean, uh, in, in the AI since the beginning. So problem of uh, object classification, so which are object, we are showing some object classification. In this case, scene classification, audio scene or other stuff. Uh, object detection, you are putting some 1000 objects on a different object or more and then you have to detect it. And then you have some uh, data set which are uh, on the web. So you can download all these big data set and then you can leave your algorithm running. And these are the best accuracy you got without using the uh, conventional, I mean we say, uh, neural network in this case. So. And okay, for some of them it was quite good. I mean in this case face recognition 96.3. Quite, quite, quite good with conventional stuff. For some other, it, it was okay. And uh, on the right, uh, on the right hand side, you have the best accuracy using the neural network. And then you see some plus. In some cases, you have some plus, big plus, and some cases not big plus. So it's not obvious again. So it's really depending on what you are doing, what you plan to do. This is the message. But in some cases, it broke so much that some of the people said, okay, we'll not use any more conventional stuff, depending on the, uh, you know, the problem you had, we'll use no CNN, and they are focusing on the, on the um, neural network stuff.